Hi everybody, I'm Sophie. I'm a GPST3 in Shropshire in the West Midlands. Welcome to GP training. Uh, you've picked the best specialty and I've been asked today to give you a few tips on getting through our two exams. So the first one's called the Applied Knowledge Test, the AKT, and most people sit it at the beginning of ST3 or the end of ST2. And it's exactly what it says on the tin. It's an application of your knowledge that you might need for any um, job within GP. And it's a three hour exam, uh, which you sit in the morning or afternoon in a and view test centre. My top tip for getting through it is to subscribe to a question bank. Usually you don't need more than one, there's usually thousands of questions on there and the important thing is to take some notes because otherwise cramming all that information into your head just before you sit the exam is a little bit difficult if you haven't revised some topics for a few months. The second exam that we do is traditionally been the Clinical Skills Assessment, the CSA, um, but more recently we've been trialling the Recorded Skills Assessment. So the CSA used to be an exam with actors down in the RCGP headquarters in London, uh, but the Recorded Skills Assessment is videoing yourself with your own patients in your own practice. The good thing is that even though we're not sure which of these will continue for when you guys do your exams, you can prepare for them in the same sort of way. So the key to getting through is to practice and that can be done in a few different ways. Even seeing patients day to day is the best way to practice with the, having the mark scheme in mind and making sure you're trying to keep your consultations to 10 minutes. The other way is to either video yourself and go through the videos with your supervisor or potentially set up a group of trainees to do some practice together. Um, usually people get themselves into groups of maximum three or four and you practice doing as many cases as possible and getting feedbacks from some trusted colleagues. The good thing is that most people get through the exams absolutely fine and the important thing is that when you do to celebrate because you're two steps closer to becoming a GP.